Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. I've recently seen some great blog posts by other Excel experts talking about some product and all the great things that you can do with it and how versatile that function can be. But one thing I wanted to add to that is the ability to divide with some product. Normally, some product will take and multiply your arrays and then add those results together. But what about if you need to divide and then add those results? Well, let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here I have a list of values, and I actually named this range value, and a list of percentages, again called percentage. And if I wanted to multiply the values times their percentage and then add that up, I can either do it the long way or use some product. To do it the long way, I would just take equals the value times the percentage, copy that down, and then I would add those up, and I would get, in this case, a million six fifty nine plus. If I wanted to do it in one step with some product, it'd be quite simple to take equals some product value comma, percentage, close my parentheses, hit enter, and I would get the exact same result, and I could do it all in one step. But what about if I had these values with their percentages, and I wanted to know the full amount? For example, I know 387,200 is 35% of some number. To get that full number, I would have to divide. So if I wanted to do it the long method, I would say equals my value divided by my percentage. Again, copy that down, add those values together, and I would get 10,816 plus. If I wanted to do it in one step with some product, what I would do is say equals some product tab take my values, comma, just like I did when I wanted to multiply those values times each other, but instead of typing percentage, I would type 1 divided by percentage, close my parentheses, and I would get the exact same result as if I did it the long way. So if you want to, instead of multiplying values together and adding them up with some product, if you needed to divide, you would take your second array and do a 1 divided by that array, and that tells some product to divide those arrays rather than multiply. And that's how you do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.